For months, this beautiful town on the edge of the Shan Plateau was to be the hub of the INA. Within a week of Bruce's arrival in Mamio, Captain Lakshmi brought up a contingent of the Rani Jhansi Regiment. During the Imphal campaign, Mamio was very important to us because it was here that Netaji established his advance headquarters and uh, various uh, units of the INA were also based here. The Azad Hind Dal was also the advance party because they were to be the civilian forces when once we occupied various parts of India. They were also here and I brought up one unit of the Rani of Jhansi regiment also to Mimio and uh, we started training here and preparing ourselves for advance. Mimio had traditionally a strong Indian population and uh, due, to, due to the war most of the Burmese had fled the town and gone to various villages because they were afraid of being taken away by the Japanese to do uh, labor and later they were afraid of air raids. But the Indians stayed on here and they were most helpful to us in every way. Returning to Mamio 50 years later, Captain Lakshmi didn't expect to find any of her colleagues. But a visit to a familiar house revealed Dr. Montu Banerjee. <laughs> Montu Banerjee was the main supplier of medicines to the INA and had become a close associate of Netaji's during the leader's stay in Mainyu. His sister Paro was in the Rani Jhansi regiment commanded by Captain Lakshmi. Today he guides her to the place where the regimental camp had been built all those years ago. <laughs> I am very happy we have found this place because this building is exactly as it was when we had the Rani of Jhansi Regiment's camp here. But only this overgrown place that you see here was all nicely leveled as a field and we used to have our flag post here in the middle. You remember when I brought the one platoon of Rani of Jhansi Regiment girls and we came to your village. We went back very late. We got, got back to our camp after midnight. Yeah, after midnight. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> Major Rasmi came to our camp, you know. It was late at night, that time. That road was full of tigers and bears and then the bears and even leopards. So we told them, don't take the rest. They said, no, we are after our soldiers. We got to go to the Kohima front. We'll, we'll advance with these few girls that are which we will go to the front. I'm not afraid, not there. And they said, yes, we are not afraid, we'll go. And they started singing the national anthem, Super Sukhachayana Ki Barkha Barki Bharata Bhagya Hai Daga. They started singing that, I'm going, and I'm dilli dilli jayenge, I'm bigri hin banayenge. Oh, you play that on your yes, organ? Yes. I remember you playing the mouth out yes, those days. Yes. At every function you had to play. Yes. Achcha bhai, mein us national anthem, mein aapko, yani kaumi taranak, sur par, ke meta ji bhoat pasand karta tha, humko hamesha bola karte the, ye gana aap hamesha bajaya karo. Usiliya mein aapko hoi tarana, phir mao tarana, lekin baja jo hai, Oh, Japan or German Baja, the China Baja, Baja is out to China Sur Nikolta. Could we may so up go China Sur may Baja Sunago? Call me Tarana. Thank <laughs> you. 